To have a Google Meet with your students, go to meet.google.com. Make sure that you're logged in to your GCPS G Suite account. Click on Join or Start a Meeting and enter a code, which is a nickname, for your meeting. Please use a unique name, like your school code and last name, and any other information you want. You'll click Continue. You'll then have students go to meet.google.com. Students will click on Use a Meeting Code and enter the code that you provided. After entering that code, students will click Continue. This is the only way to ensure that students do not return to the meeting after you have concluded. Please make sure that you join the session before students, as we do not want students in the meet without a teacher. Once I join the meeting, the first thing I'm going to do is turn on recording. Click on the ellipse and record meeting. Note that you will have to inform students that they are being recorded. Click accept and the recording will begin. We recommend that you do this again before students are present. Once I'm in a meeting, the person who is talking is likely the one to appear here. To see what students are in the session, I can click on this icon and see everyone listed. As the organizer, if I need to, I can click down and remove someone who has joined. I can mute them and I can pin their screen to my main screen. There is also a chat option so that students can ask questions if they don't have a microphone available. We recommend that you turn on captions so that students watching the video can read what was said. Students can also turn on captions for themselves while live. To present your screen, click Present Screen, Your Entire Screen. Choose the window by clicking and click Share. When you are done presenting, simply click on Stop Presenting and the presentation will go away. Students can also present now in order to show their work. Other options also appear under More Options. Here you can change your layout, which students can do as well, to see their view in different formats. If you need to switch to a document camera, you can go into Settings, click on Video, and change your camera. Two new extensions have been added that can allow for more functionality for teachers. One of these is called Google Meet Grid View, which gives this option so that teachers will be able to see all students at one time. The other new extension that has been added for teachers is called Page Marker, which will allow you to have a whiteboard when you're presenting so that you can write over top of your screen. When all students have left the session, you can stop the recording. Click on the ellipse and stop recording. Then click stop recording. The video will save to an automatically created folder in your Google Drive. When all students have left, you can click the red icon to leave the call.